I don't know what's going on, but Marshall Mathers, Eminem, your life's on the line and you're gonna die. <laughs> I wish it was made to be there to tell you to your face, but your life has to be taken. I don't know what it is that you've done. You gotta die, boy. That's what I'll cover like this. <laughs> you have to die. I don't know what the fuck you've done, but whatever it is that you've done, I'm, I've been told you're the best MC or something. So, I won't be happy until you're dead. And I want to see you. I want to see your body dead. I want, I want someone to show me. You ain't escaping death. You're gonna be murdered and you gotta go. I just I just got that prophecy inside of my head. So I've had to switch. I'm trying to look, trying to find what it is I'm looking for. I remembered your name upside down. Eminem, Nim, Min, Nem. The E looking in at the W, W, Crown. I haven't looked at it yet. And I ain't gonna be happy until you're dead, boy. Until somebody shows me stage, pre stage. And then I hear your voice whispering, You're my nemesis. Yeah? My sister side of me, what, where, I kill you myself, I do it without breathing, you're looking for verbal interaction, there's no verbal interaction, it's physical, you can say what you want to say, but you know what, so I feel better, you got to die, like dead, Shot, stabbed, strangled, eyes poked out of your fucking head. That type of diet. Arms and legs pulled apart. Maybe because you like talking like a dickhead. You chop your dick off and put it in your mouth. I don't know who you think you're fucking with. Kids as well, yeah. Well, I don't know what more to say to you. Apart from they're either gonna go with you or before you. And I know that your daughter has been out there speaking the same godly goof as you have been. Whatever you've done, which was bad, wrong, the moment you overstep the line, gotta be the reason. Now, this is a rap form, and it's really easy to understand. You see what I'm seeking for life. This is as unwrapped as it gets. It's just plain and simple. I don't care what you or your daughter says. No room for insult with me. It's just. Whatever you've done, wherever you got it from, whoever taught it to you, whoever passed it on to you, they're next after you. So don't try and plan your escape. I am your escape. What do you want to know? 
you have your platform. I'm important. Yes. Black lives matter. Marshall matters. What's up? Boy, what's going on? Because I was hoping to say that's so important to me. What will I not be purchasing none of your turkey resources that's supposed to do what for me? What mumble and jumble my mind up? You can't even teach properly. And you're from the best of your community. And you wasted all your albums talking about drugs. Where did you get that inspiration from? Who? And then you're supposed to look to hip hop. Who? Royce. Five nine. You can't look to none of mine for inspiration. You put yourself in that seat because you're confused about who actually is the highest. So you want to come to know what the highest is all about. But it ain't fear. It just means you want to step behind the boundary to try and learn something when maybe you should have read your book your own body is your own tombstone you don't step into boundary guidelines and imagine that you're someone that you're not That's why I haven't got too much to say to you because it's not about me speaking to you or you speaking back. I mean, you are not born in the same room. We're not twins. From everything that I had to say on the SoundCloud account, I called your name from that time. This whole little video that I've been mixing up was unknowingly, strangely, about you. And that will echo back to your albums for something that you've been trying to say in the hope. But I had this dream about you being torn apart by me on stage. But that's not the stage that I envision today. Because I'm not going to have a conversation with somebody that's practiced something I feel with against me or something that you want to do because you don't understand anything about what you do. Then you want to get offensive and you want to be a phenomenon and you ain't never going to be nothing above all those words that you be reading you can sit in my mind with your feet on top of my couch all you like whatever is going to hit you at that time is going to hit you bro the just a waste of life. I don't know why you are, but you are. You had a chance to do something. And you just dropped it. Because you didn't understand it. You won't. Or overspend. It. Information. From me. Your technology that you claim that you possess. Your whole entire album from 
start to finish to where you claim to be paid to be seated. No, that's not a position. It's not a chair, it's not a couch, it's not a bed. You faked it to get where you are. I want to see your chest blown out of your body. That just automatically gives you a cape to go nowhere but down. You can't be sitting there because you're the greatest. You're not. You're the grey mist in the air. There are most light-skinned talkers who can still have the same intelligence as you have, but you've actually done something. There's no point telling me no more. I don't care. I hate wanting to even imagine how I should. I don't know how it's going to get it, but it will at some point. I won't even bat an eyelid unless I'm ready to rest my eyes. There is no extended beat of force or bass to initialize any type of touch. The same way you entered into this is the same way you're going to step out of it. You want to stand up for black lives? Do it properly, bro. You want to be phenomenon? You want to you be rap god? You, yeah. You see, you want to sit on. You can't even represent properly. Who are you scared of? It's all that acting all about. Deep breathing in a parking car lot. With who? Behind you? For what? Who are you dedicating yourself out to? This bitch needs your attention. Huh? You're right, you don't have to fear me. Because you're God now, you're a rap God, yeah? So you go and take one for God then, yeah? Since you want to sacrifice your body. But what about Donald Trump as well? Yeah. Take him with you. The fault that is. And when you stand up and you sacrifice your body. So that people can continue to live and thrive. Gotta do better than that. What you did was just park yourself in a comfortable position called yourself the greatest and you didn't call yourself the greatest rapper alive and you need to go speak to your fan base and ask them why what are you saying in your music you mean you will never have to cross paths you're right cross your own path and that was with all the intelligence that you studied for. I don't know who told you to get in the studio with a paper and a pad. I don't know who told you to put a do-rag on your head. I don't know who told you to rip off the latest Jordans and put your two letter E's on the back of it. I guess you're going to have to consult with the people put you in that position to flip you upside down back to front to give you a silly name I mean that's your reward but you won't be facing me because if you do I ain't talking to you
guys out there possessed of you got Drake running through with the British and African MCs and you got Wiz Khalifa coming over and you guys must be sounding all hard on you and your mixtapes but if this is a war and nobody's safe from and Dwayne Carter's standing with Eminem saying he's gonna drop the world on somebody's fucking head and then you've got one dude running through your squadron picking out your styles dream collecting all your sayings and bringing it back what chance do you think you have you ain't protecting me then are you but then you want police to stop the looting and the racism what racism are you going for you guys have been in a holiday camp over here in britain so you just letting down your walls donald trump's trying to put one up but he won't be allowed that's obviously playing to the times here in the United Kingdom of artists who seem to be just letting down their walls or their walls are just being broken down by MC's portrayal of doing it just for fun because they can do it. So I listen to all you guys, all you guys saying what you're saying. I can't even believe Manchester's finest was dragged out of Manchester to jump on some mixtape with Drake. And I'm thinking, out of anybody, you should have had the most sense to say nah. So, I don't know what's going on between your decisions making and how you're supposed to be seers. If you're just being told how to see. <sighs> so. That yawn wasn't meant to be a yawn because. I've just woken up again. Casually just waking up. I'm just resting my mind. I just, no one ain't really speaking for me in hip hop or grime. We were all just affiliated with the same crime, the same slime, and slang kind of grime. Same rhyme, same mind. It's all just, you just made it unsafe for me to want to step in and say anything special to you or with you or beside you or next to you. <laughs> so you guys keep on letting unknown entities into your squadron and breaking it down and trying to think that you're being saved and. It's all about the money, it's all about sitting in a nice car and looking at all these problems, just overview, standing and breaking down your dreaming. There's going to be another second wave of what's going to just wipe it away. So, you know, you guys enjoy it, man. Enjoy faking it and breaking it apart because that's all it seems to be good for and if that's a bar of facts and then you enjoy your chocolate bars when you're eating it down and learn something about what it means to break something down that shouldn't be broken down